Good afternoon, my friends. So this is a test video, testing my camera after uh, having experienced a period of trouble with it. I, uh, I use a phone. It's a Chinese-made phone, Redmi uh, Note 10, I think, or 11. I don't remember. And uh, I have recently experienced a problem. I've been filming many videos recently. But they weren't safe on the phone. I used uh, what uh, seems to be a defective SD card. And now I'm trying to test my phone again. I hope that this video is going to, to be okay. And this happens, you know. Now I'm on my way to uh, Salombi in order to eat a sandwich. So, as I said, I'm on my way to Salongi or uh, El Madania in order to eat a sandwich. It's uh, late in the afternoon. It's a Friday afternoon. And uh, I've just uh, gotten off work. Just finished my, my day at work. left the office and now I'm headed to El Madania and I decided to test my phone camera I've just entered the Champ de Manoeuvre or Mayday Square from the ALN Avenue this is one of the main roundabouts here in this area, the roundabout where the bus station is located, together with the subway station. And the other roundabout is the one with the, the fountain, with the big fountain, in front of uh, the Mustafa Basha Hospital. There is a no entry sign over there means that we've got to turn right and enter Mohammed Bunu's dead street via this short alley or small alley and now let's go I guess uh, there is a, a soccer a soccer game uh, at Bunu's dead or at uh, the August 20th stadium here on the left on Bunu's, that Mohammed Bunu's that street. And whenever there is a soccer game, you've got to avoid the area of the of the stadium where the soccer game is taking place. So Harmoul Street is on the right. Now we are driving on the on Mohammed Zakal Street, the street that will lead us straight to El Madin. Sorry, El Madania. The Harsha Sports Complex is on the right. There is that mosque over there. A big mosque. A four floor or five floor mosque. And mosques in this area uh, tend to be big like that with multiple floors because the area itself is a, is a slope. So you've got to build uh, several several floors from the bottom to to the top in order to reach the road many houses here have two entries or two entrances or two doors the front door and the back door sometimes the front door is on one street and the back door is on the other street street that that's at the lower level and our house in Tilibli was uh, almost like that because Tilibli is located uh, in a slope, in a, an area just like this one. Albeit uh, this road is narrower than the Krimbel Qasim Boulevard, main street of Tilibli.
careful around uh, turns like these. A car uh, may suddenly emerge from around the corner. Just look at that building over there. With, it, with its pointed with its pointed shape just like a, like a ship <laughs> like the pro of a ship a big ship an ocean liner and that's why this area I guess that that's why this area is known as the Arl Babor maybe it's uh, that building that they are building that, that they are calling El Babor and El Babor is Arabic for for ship got to be patient here now let's go so this is the the junction between Martyrs Street or Martyrs Boulevard and Mohammed Sikar Street and on the right you can see the, the gate the gate of the uh, or one of the gates of uh, Villa Susini, Villa Susini, which used to serve as a torture center for the French colonial army during the war for the independence of Algeria. When the French tried everything they could in order to suppress Algeria's independence war. And today I'm going to show you another entrance to to El Madania. It only took us six minutes to drive from. Uh, city center to El Madania on a Friday afternoon and now I'm going to show you another entrance because I uh, now I would like to I mean I'm trying to avoid uh, the main street that leads there that leads uh, all the way to the, the central square of El Madania because it tends to be congested that's why I'm using this street here, the Medani Brothers Avenue. So Martyrs Memorial is on the left, and I use the Medani Brothers Avenue, which, uh, though uh, uh, it's uh, it's narrow, but you know, and busy too, I, <coughs> I prefer to use it <laughs> instead of instead of getting stuck in a traffic jam. Okay, maybe I should get behind that car, black car over there. And now we're going to wait for the oncoming traffic to to pass so that we pass too. We're going to turn uh, to take turns passing, but I prefer this to, uh, you know, getting stuck for a long time somewhere near the you know, the central part of uh, El Medania. And of course, this street is going to, to take me all the way to, to the central part of El Medania, to the area where there are sandwich shops. Is there a fast food shop here on the right? Oh, and by the way, I worked here on in a building that used to be here on the, on the left. Now, now it, well, it was demolished, you know. It was demolished a couple of years ago. The building was old. There used to be a, a video club there. We used to rent videotapes and also sell tapes, audio tapes and CDs. It was in the early 2000s. My elder brother uh, owned a uh, uh, partly owned the, the store with an associate, his brother-in-law. So uh, I worked here for a, for a brief period of time, and I used to enjoy uh, working here. Coming here, the, I used to come from the eastern part of of Algiers. There was always a bus, and uh, there were also cabs service in this area. So I have good memories about about this place back in the 2000s, in the early 2000s when I worked here. 
sometimes I would come as far as here in order to buy a sandwich and I really like uh, I really liked uh, El Madania back then because it had everything and it still has everything okay now all I have to do is to find a parking spot this is the area I usually come to the sandwich shops are open now, you, I usually find a parking spot around here on uh, Said Quadri Street yeah just like the black car here on the right there are I can find the parking spot and sure enough there is one here although it's a hilly street but it's fine for me okay all right guys I hope that you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button in order to receive uh, notifications on my future videos that was me testing my camera and it I hope that it works I hope that I'll find this video in my internal storage um, take care of yourselves and goodbye